I want to make a statement that um, I'm going to make this video over the things I saw a lot of other uh, content creators and a lot of things that I've seen about around the manosphere and the one thing I've seen around black men. Um, I have to say this right now. And I hope men get, you know, get behind me with this, even if it's five views or whatever. I think black men are the most controlled by women than any other men in the world. Any other race that I've seen out here, they are the most controlled by their women. And here's why. It's a general statement when I hear these guys talk about socially awkward men. And socially awkward uh, and, and incels, right? They always say that hey, they, they don't want to get with these. They don't want to get with the uh, the women. They can have sex, but they 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 they, they don't want to get with the fat, ugly women. So automatically, you're saying that you're saying that all women can make men hard. But these are the same guys who talk about game and talk about making the girl wet. But they never come up to, they never confirm the fact that not all women can make men hard. Let's not, let, let, let's, let's talk about, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that, right? Why are you, why is these men thinking that every woman, fat or ugly, can make men hard? They don't factor in that. How about the man is not attracted to this woman and he might have to pop Viagra's or any sexual stimuli in order to have sex with this woman? Let's talk about how many times that he had to have sex with this woman and he might after that sex happens that she's so unattractive that he feels disgusting. See, these guys overall work for women. They're controlled by women. They don't care about you and your happiness. This is why they can see a chick who been passed up, who passed up good dudes for so many years, and then always making a case for single moms to always win. With men who don't have kids. See I was on this this, this, this hangout where George Macon was saying about. How single women were good women and blah 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 blah. Single momhood and blah 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 blah. This is this is coming from a, a ex pookie right. About that basketball players and whatever. That basketball player situation that happened when he thought. He thanked his mom instead of his stepdad. When his stepdad was the one who was out there on the court and helping his son. I mean his, his stepson right. And he kept making excuses. But then he kept acting like he was there for men. They don't never tell you that. They don't never tell you. And these guys, you know, I seen this dude on uh, Obsidian thing called his name Kenneth. And he's talking about incels saying, you know, people are incels and, you know, uh, some black guys are incels and stuff like that. And they don't understand. It. Well, they can get the women. They don't. They, they just can't get the women they want. So. Men should be ready to get to, you know, let me look for it. So men should pay the bills of entitled, ugly looking women. On top of that, be stressed out to almost suicide. What they tell you right now is that every man can get hard for every woman. It doesn't matter. This is what they're saying. These guys should get with these ugly women and be so stressed out that they commit suicide from having sex with this ugly looking woman all the time. Because don't you get when a lot of guys commit suicide and they have a wife and they do it in the bathroom? Or the wife finds them. Don't you think that it's stress from being with somebody who's they not they don't really want to be with, but society made them go with. And every time this these two people have sex, 
He has to enhance himself every single time, but he's not sexually attracted to her because he don't want to be called an incel or a weirdo or whatever. These men don't care. I'm telling you, these men only benefit the women and it shows in the way they talk. They look at life like it's a game. They don't care about how many men are in jail. Who defended women. Even though the woman said something first. And did things first. They don't care about the men. Who been killed. By women's confrontational. Black women's confrontational things. They don't care about men. Being so stressed. That caused them to have a heart attack. Of paying a woman like this bills. And having to keep producing it. Even though she doesn't look good. And she's not giving him the sex he wants. Or she's not turning him on. These men who talk about game. And talk about incels. And talk about the socially awkward men. They never want men to be happy. With another race of women. You see they always make an excuse. For the women. They don't they don't point out the fact that a lot of guys die from suicide and and heart related diseases because of dealing with these women. And having to keep making these women happy with financial. See? <clears throat> the other thing is the rule of taking what you can get and dating ugly looking women. See, in a black America, everyone know that black men are to have the lowest standards for their own sex. We are called, we are considered the really we are considered the lowest form of human being because of these men are using these fat, unattractive women as stepping stones. But not only is they using these women as stepping stones, they're having kids with these women and leaving them alone because they believe in game. See, ask these dudes, did they always, is, is, is they ever had to sleep with a fat girl or an ugly woman who had money? See, they believe in you not having to deal with the stuff that they had to do and you just going to the better, better, better option because they don't care if you have to go out with the women they go out with because, hey, some of them, some of these men who try to teach other men gain, some of these guys are hiding some STDs because a lot of these guys walk around and have sex with these women without condoms. So they don't care about your health and well-being. They don't care about your mental health. They don't care about your financial health, your, your financial condition. And they don't, they damn well don't care about your your clarity of uh of STDs. See, they they will want you to get with an unattractive fat woman who has an opportunist mindset because hey, she doesn't she has been treated so well in the black community that she doesn't have to date a, a, another person on the opposite side. She doesn't have to date a fat, ugly guy. She can try to get a better looking deal. So she's getting passed around by these so-called jawline guys and these select men when these guys are lonely. But some of these guys are reckless with their penis. So they have sex with these women without condoms and give them STDs and AIDS and everything else. And guess what? The men that they talk about who says, oh, they're not getting they're not getting with the women that want them. But those women that want you when they're finished with the with the good looking guys and the guys with six packs and stuff, they're coming with not only financial burden, but also a health burden. They don't never factor in that, hey, maybe, maybe this woman right here is is coming with so many STDs. Cause did you ever ask any man <coughs> these same dudes? How about if all these females never wanted to take a STD test? If these so-called good women, black women were so good, why they don't 
say, okay, I'm gonna t- why don't why don't they never take an STD test right then and there before the man gets involved with them seriously? So you telling me that you don't? These guys, I'm really telling you right now that these guys don't care about any. They don't care about no man. They only care about black women happiness. They don't care about your happiness. Because they will call and they will kick incel men saying, well, they don't get the women that they should be getting and going well with. But so you're telling me that, as I said before, that every woman can make a man hard, no matter how she looks. You telling me that you don't care if he dies from a heart attack by taking too many Viagra's because he can't get he can't get it up because she's disgusting. And she's unattractive. You're telling me that you don't care about this man having to have sex with something so unattractive that it it, it messes him it, it messes him up mentally just to have sex with this thing. You don't care. So at one point, this fat chick, because you gave her so much excuses and leeway, she cheats on him. He snaps. He takes her out and then takes himself out because he couldn't stand the fact that this fat, unattractive woman cheated on him when this whole society and men like y'all who y'all control men told them that they need to get with these women. He has an STD. He has AIDS. But this woman still cheated on him. She has all these kids and it cost him all his money. All the things that he worked for in his life, he barely has money. He's working too hard. But you don't care about the guy, right? Every time you get into a situation with these dudes and on panels, as I said before, they're jumping you on the behalf of women. Don't you find it odd every time you see a new female in the black manosphere it's like 15 more drones or simps have come right behind her. I'm telling you, these guys are dangerous. And you need to find ways and write down certain things that you can know which one of these guys are the most controlled by women. And stay away from them. The men who talk about games so much, stay away from them. The men who try to tell certain men who to go and who to date, stay away from them. The men who try to tell them, oh yeah, man, uh, you need to do this and do that and do this and do that. Stay away from them. Because they are controlled by women. And they don't care about your health. They don't care about your mental health. Because they, they don't get that. Imagine this, right? You're working. You're working 15 hours a day. Right. And you come home. And all you want is some really good. Some really a really good blow job or a hand job and some good sex before you wind down from work. But then you just you just notice. That you got to take Viagra in order to have sex with this fat, ugly looking woman. But on top of that. Her. Her overall maintenance of her so-called self. It takes a lot of money to make this fat, ugly, unattractive, insecure woman happy. So she has a bag of clothes inside the house and you bump your head. You bump your, you bump your, your feet on it. And she's saying, why you knock my stuff down? Mind you, this is from an ugly looking woman. So imagine that. You come home and say, hey man, I'm, I'm stressed. Can you do something about this? And she says, I got to separate these clothes. She doesn't say hi. She don't care about your day. She's just spending your money up while you're working hard. And she's unattractive. But this is the people, this is the women that a guy like George Mankum wants you to be around with. Oh man, she might be good. She might be good. She's a good single mom. How you a good single mom when you didn't choose a good dad to breed with? Well, let's ask these questions. 
who are the baby fathers of these 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 uh who are the baby father of these kids? Are they doctors? Are they lawyers? Are they guys who didn't have no no, no job and everything else, and she just jumped in the bed with them? They don't care about working men. They don't care about how much stress that you had to take at the job. They don't care about you're trying to teach other people how to do the same thing you did. They don't want to make your life easier. These guys are working with these women to make your life hell. To make sure you die and give your money to these kids that's not yours. And give your money to these women that never liked you. Or want to use you for a prop. They don't want you to come home to a beautiful Asian woman that will serve you, take your feet off, and massage you, and give you the sex you want to calm down. They don't want you, they want you to die from stress, heart attack, heart disease, all types of of. Any kind of stress related disease. They want you to die. I'm telling you man. You need to stay away from these. These control. Mind controlled. Uh, men. Because they will be your downfall man. Listening to these dudes. About who good and who's not. Will be your downfall. Because they think. I'm going to repeat it. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to keep repeating this. They, they think that every man. Supposed to get hard for every woman. See, they always talking about how women, if you don't make a woman wet, then if you don't make a woman wet, then you shouldn't pursue her and all this other crap. But what about if a woman don't make a man hard? Should he should he die from overworking for for a woman that he can't get hard on? He can't he can't get a hard on for. That or or he has to take Viagra and then he dies from it, from taking too many. They never say that. Guys like Gav, all these guys like Kenneth and all these other people who talk about incels and all types of stuff. Like these women are actually super attractive, enough to make guys hard. But we never talk about that. We never give it. We never gave. We never give the man, the black man, advantage for him to find better options, right? Sometimes it feel like that some guys are against the world because every time they get around black men, it's always me versus the world type mentality. Because when you're around so many mind controlled men. They always work in the favor of women. They always find every stressful situations against the men. Hey, you need to be with that sister even though it's it's bad for you. Even though she might be the downfall of you, brother. I don't care. I know these sisters are bad, but you can find a good one because based off me, I can say the good, the who's good and who's not. It's always going to be you against these, these kind of dudes. Because these women want the same type of guys like this. Don't matter if she's a nerd. She's high powered. How many women you think lost their jobs dealing with the same type of dudes? How many nerds you found you know that was dealing with these type of dudes? See, I have a PI. And when I was out there dating black women or whatever, I went broke using my PI on all the women that I, I was trying to trying to vet. I had to stop I had to stop and get away from them. Cause they can't. They was always lying to me. I found out who they used to date, and they always resembled some thug. They always a baby mama number. Some of them are baby number. Some of them are baby mom, mama number one, or some of them are baby number mama number ten. They always a baby mama to somebody to 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 a guy who has multiple kids. But you're supposed to be what? Happy about that? And you're supposed to be happy that they're bringing their their kid to you. You're supposed to be happy, right? To be used as a utility and die 
as a utility, not a man. They're always trying to change these type of dudes into some kind of good man, right? They want the good guy qualities into the messed up guy's qualities, but it never works out because sometimes they die at the hands of these guys. Or sometimes they get hurt by these guys physically. And then they want to sit back and get mad at all the men. With their dysfunction. But they never. I never see these same guys who champion for women. Say to women to their faces that. You have mistreated these these black men. You have, you have made them feel unwanted in the black community. And I respect that these brothers left these women alone. Because I see these women, I see these men are happier with another race. They don't congratulate a man who found himself another race of woman. They never congratulate him. And some of these men are not sitting here talking about black women. But they're sitting here Always finding an angle for women to have to make them look like victims and to make them look like they are so good. If they were so good, they will find different places and categories for different men. They will be jumping in the gym for the men who want to see skinny women, not fat, overweight women. They will be working on their attitudes and their bodies. Because some of these men are out here busting their ass and they're not getting nothing in return. So they have to go to another race. And you should be giving them respect. Because one time, you might have think a brother like this, like I said, I don't like using the word brother. A brother like this is an incel or he's socially awkward. And then the next minute you see him hugged up with his, his beautiful woman. Because you always say, beauty is subjective. But only when it comes to a fat chick and a, and a, and a black man. Oh, it's so, so subjective when a guy is fit and a woman is fat. But you want to sit here and talk about other races of women being ugly and they're not fours or fives or whatever. But if that man says she's beautiful, you should always respect that and say, okay, don't say anything. As long as he don't stand up about your little queens and, and you're all a little stupid behind whatever y'all say about them. That you, you should be, you should big up him and say, I'm proud of the fact that you found somebody. Because I know how hard it was for you to find somebody. Because you always see these women smiling when they're always with these prisoners and these jailmen. And when it doesn't work out, they try to get with the guys they always w- w- ran, by, ran, ran by. It's the same, it's the same scenario. Same shaming language. It's the same kind of playbook they keep trying to play on certain men. And the men who are controlled work with them. You shouldn't care about who she date before you. You should be happy that she dating she dating you right now. Right? Not that fact that this man could get out of jail and kill you and kill her. Because he's mad that she found somebody. Oh, we can't we can't we can't warn brothers about the, the, the crazy ex boyfriend. Like this says. While black men are the biggest simps. This is a meme. And I'm starting to look at this for real over and over again. These guys who make excuses for these women. Oh not all. Not all. No 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 no. You do the same thing they do to you. Say all. You take these women case by case. Because you always figure out where their mind is at. They always find every excuse for a guy they like. But they always seem to find every red flag from a guy they don't like. You notice that? They got so much intuition, but they never have the intuition to know that this guy's not going to turn out to be a good father. And then they talk about game and swag. But guess what? When it doesn't work out. They turned it to the victim and said he was manipulated and he didn't act like he should. He didn't he didn't show his true self to her. Even though she was talking about game and swag. I went to a Puerto Rican Day Parade to test out my theory 
to see if the if, if, if the Hispanics would be hostile to me. None of them was hostile to me. They were cool. They didn't talk about me. I I wasn't dressed up real nice. And then I went to a black event and they was just talking about me. And this is what this is what you want black men to be around. Hostile people and people who talk about them want them to wear name brand clothes and stuff and not be happy. I didn't have to worry about nobody trying to fight me or roast me. And this is somebody who knows and understands or understands Spanish. It's rusty a little bit, but I understand Spanish. Nobody said anything about me when I was at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. But when I went to all around all black people, they seemed to have so much to say. And in English. And act like I didn't know. And act like I didn't hear them. I'm telling you, man. You have to. You have to watch out for some of these dudes on here who are going to make a, exploit your weakness for their gain. Pay, making you pay books to get with these used up women. The women that they mentally broke. The women that they left with kids. The women that they used up and had a stepping stone on and had fun with and threw them to the side. And they want you to turn that woman, that broken woman, that woman with, a, with kids and a woman with a mind, an entitlement mind because these guys made these women entitled. They want you to deal with that. They don't care about you, you, you committing suicide. They don't care what kind of disease you might get from this chick. They don't care about what you have to do to make this ugly, unfit, unattractive, entitled woman happy. They don't want you to get with a beautiful Norwegian woman like this chick who's a CrossFit and beautiful and her body is tight and she has bronze skin. They don't want you to be happy with her. They don't want you to be happy with a beautiful woman, beautiful agent. Who look good in red lipstick, and you coming home to that? They don't. They they don't want that. They don't. They don't want you to be happy, man. They don't care if you get me too by a black woman. As long as a white woman, they can make their case. But they don't care if black women are using false accusations, accusations on black men. Like that football player who got almost got put in jail and he came out the NFL. Brian Banks. They only want they they only here to to cape for women. This is why I say and uh, they, that's why I say that these guys are the most black men most black men are are the black men are the are, are most black men are controlled by women because it's never in the favor of men. They never understand these mind control men will never understand why some black men like myself will listen to music like this. Her type of music will never understand that I that if I ever get married, I might marry a, a white a white girl, even if it goes bad. I want to be happy. I might marry Asian or Latino. Or I might leave the country. And stay over there. They never understand it. And they want to disqualify me. Even though they disqualified me years ago. They don't want you to be happy. They want you to die alone. I mean they, they want you to die for the sake of a female. They want you to be broke. They want you to be stressed out. They want you to be used as an insurance policy. These men are dangerous, man. Because they would do anything for for these women. They will hurt you. They will kill you over the over over the words of what these women are saying about men. One little lie can you can lose your life around these type of mind controlled men. You can lose all your money. You can lose your ability to walk, talk, to walk right. You can lose your ability to smile because they're so controlled by women. They never want you to be happy with something, something that you want to walk home to because it's all about the man's happiness. Men have a harder time 
finding something that they actually want. And when they find it, they can come home to it every single night. But they don't want you that. They don't want you to be happy with a white woman, Asian woman, Latino woman. They don't want you to be happy, man. This is why I say that they are the most controlled men in the world.